Hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching for take finally after nothing was open beta 2 1.5.1 nothing has finally released their first stable nothing was 1.5.2 and 13 update if you are on the nothing was 1.1.8 or on the open beta 2 1.5.1 you will get this ot of 157 mb which has this large change log that you can check on the screen but this ot is gradually rolling out for the all the users in the world so it may or may not be immediately available for you. As I am using the stable nothing OS 1.1.8 and when I checked the software update section, I still didn't got the OTA even after 4 days of release of stable update. But you can manually flash the update but strictly follow the process as I am telling here. If you are on the nothing OS 1.1.8 stable, then download the full OTA of nothing OS stable 1.5.2 from the video description. It's about 1.6 GB. Remember, if you are using the nothing OS 1.1.7, then you need to update to the stable 1.1.8 and then flash this required file. If you are using the open beta 1.5.1 hotfix build, then I have given the another small incremental package of 157 MB. If you are on any nothing OS version, then to flash this small package, you need to update to the nothing OS open beta 1.5.1 and then again update to the beta 1.5.1 hotfix update and then flash this incremental update file given under the video description. Download the package as per your requirement then create the OTNMR folder in the root of the storage and then place the downloaded file under that folder. Now go to the dialer and dial star hash star as 682 hash star hash star. You will find the new update file placed in this OTA folder. Tap on it and process of flashing of new update will start whole process will take 5 to 10 minutes. Today in this video we will cover all the new changes available in this new update with its performance and stability test. Finally at the end I have shown some issues with my final verdict. So watch the video till the end. Now without further ado, let's get started. On the new adventure. After flashing this update in the notification panel, we get the quick overview of new update with new features but actually these are the Android 13 features explained but except that as per the change log, we get the lots of new features. Some of them we already discussed in the last old nothing OS open beta 1.5.1 video. For more details, you can check the iCard video. Let's jump to the about phone to check the details of this new update. In the about phone now it's showing we are on the latest stable nothing was 1.5.2. Build number of this ROM is space war T1.5 build date on the 13th Feb 2023. If you check the about phone section it's the same Android 13 build with the material clock register egg like old beta nothing OS. Security patch is also same like old beta update it's 5th January 2023. I accepted they should give the February security patches because we got this update in the mid of February but they didn't given. Google Play system update showing its 1st August 2022 but we can manually update it later. Kernel version is 5.4.197. So most of the things are still same like old beta update but there are lots of underhood changes are there to make this build more stable and fluent. Now first we will see the quick overview of details that you get under the notification panel after flashing the ROM. First is the new media player available in the Android 13. It only works for the compatible applications like I played the music via SoundCloud and who gets this new media player shortcut under the notification panel. Here who gets the new wave shaped sig bar with the new forward and backward buttons. This media player remains persistent in the lock screen also. It has new animation of pause and play buttons also. Next is the new manage application tab found under the bottom of the quick setting panel. If you tap on it, it will show you all the background running applications, who can stop them here also. Next is the new deeply integrated material theming in the update, who gets the new theme icon style under the wallpaper and style option, which is giving the theme icon style for the both the dock and the drawer icons. Also all the system sliders, sig bars, quick setting panel icons will get applied with the same material you ascend from the home screen wallpaper which is giving the true pixel device look to your nothing phone one. Next we can add the multiple user accounts using the add new user profiles. If you add the new users who have to set up the device again, we can switch between different users using the icon available under the quick setting panel. 
In this way, all the our personal media and the applications can be kept private for the different users. Every time we install the new applications, we can set the permission for these applications to send or show the notifications at the time of installation. These are all the major Android 13 features that were quickly explained here. Now let's check out other changes we got in this update. Who gets the new weather applications? We already reviewed that in the old update video. Here we get the weather condition of location with the beautiful nothing was dotted font. Below it we get the timely and date wise weather prediction for the upcoming periods. We also get the weather temperature, air quality condition with the UV index, wind speed, sunset and sun rising timings. We can check any location timing in the search button available in the three dot menu. We also get the weather widget for this application on the home screen. If we tap on it, it will show you the weather condition directly within the application. Under the wallpaper and style application, we get the 5 new finely crafted HD wallpapers. You can preview them as on the screen. New update has the new volume panel. It's completely new volume panel with the quick shortcuts for the notification control. This volume panel is accessible even on the lock screen. Who gets the new advanced gaming mode? Just search the game mode option under the setting. Who gets the constant floating icon to access the game mode within the game application? Here we get the lots of shortcuts like the screenshot, screen recording, FPS overlay, do not disturb mode, YouTube live, etc. All these features mainly focus to give us the better gaming experience, especially for the gamers with the less interference of the notifications. New safety application is available under the app drawer. It is the same Google Pixel safety app which helps us to keep safe under the emergency conditions. New update is mainly focused on the security. Like all the copied clipboard data is safe now, we will get the notifications when some applications wants the access of clipboard data. In the recent panel, we can long press on the recent application. Here we get the new pop-up view of recent applications for the multitasking. We can enlarge or minimize the application window by tapping on its edges. To dismiss the app, drag the application at the top of the screen until the remove option. In the app drawer, we get the new Nothing X application to control your Nothing Year 1 wireless earphones. As I am currently don't have the Nothing Year 1 with me, so I can't able to show you the complete user interface of this application. New OTA comes with the new different ringtones with the new glyph animations. Under the glyph option, you get the new Nothing Machines ringtone too. You can check some of them as on the screen. In the new update, some new user interface has been added for the Nothing camera. Actually, it's not a big visible difference as compared to the old camera build. But small elements like the fonts and the position of top bar is somewhat changed here. New update has the big performance improvement like the fingerprint unlock accuracy has been improved up by 12%. It's more accurate and fast now. Application startup speed has been increased up by 71%. Everything seems flying on the fingertips. It's absolutely stunning. New update also has this new self repair feature to periodically delete the unused system dumps and the cache, which will keep your phone working smooth in all conditions. So overall performance of this new update is absolutely stunning. Apps opening, closing, switching between the application is seamless. If we enable the Force 120Hz while developer setting, most of the applications are running on the 120Hz but still camera-like application switches back to the 60Hz. When I ran the Geekbench, I got a score of 829 for the single core and 2693 for the multi-core. Last open beta has the 711 and 2832, so multi-core performance seems reduced this time. I actually ran the test two times, still I can't able to beat the old beta update results. But the old Android 12 based Nothing OS 1.1.8 has better results than both of Android 13 based Nothing OS updates. When I ran the OpenGL Graphics API test, I got the score of 1806 and for the Hulkan Graphics API, I got the score of 2323, which is similar as compared with the beta and the stable updates of NothingOS. 
So overall, though the numerical results are low as compared to the old build, but the actual real life usage is amazing. Now it's time to check the stability of new update at the intensive task and at the high temperatures. I did the test at the 20th before running the test, temperature of device ranging between 37 to 45 degrees Celsius. When I ran the test immediately after 2 minutes, performance graph fallen down with the continuous yellow lines. At the end, even the red line also got started. When I stopped the test, I got the score of 69%, which is very bad result. Even I did the test again one more time, there also I got the score of 75%. Device temperature during the test risen between 45 to 55 degrees Celsius. If you check the last old beta, nothing was 1.5.1 results. There I got the score of 92% in the second test, means results was not constant. In the second conjunctive test, I got the better results. But here on the new build, in the both the tests, I got the bad results. So something is wrong with this new build in terms of CPU throttling, which nothing has to be fixed in new updates. Please mention in the comment section, do you also got the bad or the better results for the CPU throttling test? So we discussed all the new changes and the CPU stability. Now it's time to show you the issues or the bugs in this new OTA. Actually the issues I am showing here will only faced by the bootloader unlocked users, so locked user didn't have to worry. If you run the safety net test in the unlocked bootloader of this update, CTS profile is getting failed. In the error it's showing the cause of bootloader unlocking. Even if you check the Google Play Protect certification, it's showing it's uncertified. So even if your wide one security is L1 on this ROM, still in the Google Play, some applications like Netflix is not available to download because of uncertified Play Protect issue. But you can install the Amazon Prime application and can use it at the full HD resolution. You can solve this issue by following the locking process given in the iCard video. Except these issues, I did not face anything. So this is all about the new stable update of Nothing OS 1.5.2 Android 13 update, which is truly amazing update, which has immense new features, stability with the performance, which every phone users wants. So I definitely recommend you to use this update. Battery life is not tested yet. I will report the battery life with the community post after two days. Until then, if you think this video helped you, then please do like and share this video. Press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.